Welcome back. Okay, so I'm going to quickly go over the lobes of the brain with you. Now, in lecture and probably briefly in lab, you're going to talk about the insula, and it's a portion of the brain. The way that you can see it, though, is that you would have to remove either a portion of the temporal lobe or the frontal lobe to get to it. So you're not going to see it in lab in any of the lab models. So not the purple model, not the brain model, but just heads up, it's there. Now, the other lobes that we're going to talk about. We're going to start off with the frontal lobe. Frontal lobe is probably the largest lobe that you have. It begins here at the front, right? And it's going to come all the way back to this pink area here, right? You will notice that there's these different grooves. This is known as a sulcus. It's a valley and iri. And the reason that you have these hills and valleys is because it increases the surface area of the brain. So we can cram more stuff into a smaller space by having these folds. So the frontal lobe, the frontal lobe begins here at your prefrontal cortex. It's your filter. This is the portion of your brain that is working to decide whether that thing that you're thinking should come out of your mouth. As we age, the dendritic trees that form that hold the neurons together here degrade and it ends up where your filter breaks. So it's pretty common that this happens as we get older. It's just part of the natural aging process. But that's also why I warn my students like, hey, don't go hating on grandma when she tells you you're fat. Don't go hating on her. Her brain doesn't work. So just the little things that help you get by in life. All right. So that's what this area here. It's the very front of your frontal lobe. Now, what does your frontal lobe deal with? It has a list of things that it deals with. It deals with your impulse control, your judgment. Um, you, some of your language production comes from here. Although most people think of it as more like temporal lobe, but it has working memory, your personality and your reasoning and your coordination and your spontaneity and controlling things, socialization, motor function. There's a whole list of things that frontal lobe deals with. And we know motor function is one of those things. And that's because this portion right here, right, it is a hill in front of the central sulcus. So this is your central sulcus. So this is known as your pre-central gyrus. And so this area through here is also known as your somatomotor cortex. So it's an area for motor function. So the next lobe that we're going to discuss is the parietal lobe. The parietal lobe starts here in blue, and it's going to carry on back until you get to this parieto-occipital sulcus. So this portion here is your parietal lobe. Your parietal lobe in blue here is your somatosensory cortex. So it integrates sensory information. Sensory integration is the main purpose of your parietal lobe. It can help out also with navigation and spatial orientation. Your temporal lobe is here. The temporal lobe is close to the ears. So I like to think of the temporal lobe as being one that deals with hearing and vocabulary. It deals with speech, um, semantics, auditory processing. It's also gonna deal with memory formation. The back of the brain is going to be a vision center. It is known as your occipital lobe. Your occipital lobe is your visual center and your visual cortex. It's going to have primary vision regions and associated vision regions. So not only is it looking at and identifying what you see, but it's also trying to figure out what the purpose of it is. And that's going to allow different parts of the brain to work together. So that when you walk up to a door and you look at the handle, you're not trying to figure out what is that? What do I do with that? These areas have been integrated to understand that when you get there, you turn the handle and the door opens. The occipital lobe is also going to look at figuring out different colors that you see, as well as motion, like motion perception and how things move. 